Good. What can I do for you? Uh, you with anybody? Standing here by myself. That guy just asked me a question. I was answering his question. Uh, where's your vehicle at? It's not here. You walk over here? Came in by parachute. By what? By parachute. By parachute? Sure, I parachuted in. Where's the parachute? <laughs> I'm not parked here. Huh? I'm not parked here. I'm not parked? Alright. What's your name, Bur Bur Durison. Oh, it's a B. It looked uh, like a B. Durison. No, Durison. D-U-R-I-S-O-N? Mm -hmm. What can I do for you? Uh, this is part of the property right here, man. So any further than this is a no-go. Mm -hmm. I don't mind you filming. Don't care. There's nothing wrong with it. But just make sure you're not going to pass this point here. Because like I said, it's a government right. property. Right. I, I think it starts even with that fence line right there from what I can tell. When I looked at the, uh, the property lines on Google Earth, this is all ceded to the state as right of way. So I think yes anything... Yes and no, because the parking lot over here is still ours too. Which this one? This road, this, this gravel parking lot. This road does okay. divide it, it does. Yeah. But from that gravel parking lot, it stops there, starts here, everything up here. Okay. The fence line just keeps it away from the road so nobody's tearing up the fence because people do know how to wreck. You know, yeah, yeah, run off the road when they had a little too much. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, like I said, I don't mind you filming, man. I don't mind just, uh... Well, yeah, this guy was trying to quote seven, uh, 18795 to me, which doesn't apply here. Are you familiar with USC 18795? Uh, it... This isn't a designated military outpost that uh, cannot be video recorded. Yes, it is. You, you cannot... No. As long as, <laughs> like I said, from here on, as yeah. long as they're out here. Right, right, right. I'm saying if I go fine. on post, if I go on post, that's different. But yeah, yeah. from public property, 18795 does not apply because it's public property and I can video anything I can say. Right, right. That, that's <laughs> any military base. It doesn't matter. Well, no, there's a few that are on a, they have a list. Okay. They do have a list that's designated by the uh, commander in chief mm -hmm. uh, and his delegate, which is the man it's been so long anyway there is a list of places that i can't even stand in front of and film the gate okay but but i did check and beauregard's not one of them and i'm actually here because you train u.s marshals here and that's what i'm here for all right well you got identification for that or no do i need identification for that well i mean if you're saying you're training our guys i mean i just want to make no sure i said i'm here because the u.s marshals train here so you're trying to film their training no I'm just saying that's what brought me here. I didn't realize that this was an active National Guard post until I actually did a little more search on it. Alright. Well, like I said, man, if you're on, I don't mind you walking and filming along this road, but uh, any further on, you know. No, I'm going to be right here. Those are rules. I'm going to be right here by this telephone pole, and I expect to be here 15, 20 minutes, and then I'm going to be gone. So, I mean, if you. If anybody wants to object and you guys want to call Pineville PD out here to talk to me, hey, have at it. But it's not Pineville's problem; it's our problem. It, so, are, are we, we're still within the city limits, right? Yeah, but this is a military base, so this is our jurisdiction, not theirs. Correct. Over there, everything from this telephone out here, telephone pole out to the street, is their jurisdiction. From this curve, uh huh, from this grass line, back, everything within that grass line, that fence. To a certain point, all the way back down washboard is ours. Okay. Do you see these signs? Mm -hmm. They were placed here by the state of Louisiana. Well, yeah. This property? Every every stop sign on Boulevard is placed by the state because traffic laws are traffic laws throughout the country. So you have to follow traffic laws. Well, yeah, but the ones on post are should have been played post should have been placed by the government. They shouldn't have those decals on the back of them. If they, do, if they have those decals on the back of them, they belong to the state of Louisiana. And then in, in the state of Louisiana, okay, if the state places property, even on private property, you have to give the public access to that property. The U.S. government typically doesn't allow the state to post signs because of that. Right, so, but like I was saying, with it being... Yeah. It's still our property. From here on, it's still our property. But okay, it but, it, right but it's, been, public, it's been ceded for public access right, is what I'm right, saying. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. Look at, when you go back inside, take a look around and see if those those decals are on the back of any of your signs in there. You know, if they are, that might be something you need to holler at JAG about. It's because... because 
any of these any of these these are these designate them as state property they're serial numbered as state property so if I actually if I steal that sign they're going to charge me with a criminal act for stealing the sign right. uh, when I was a kid growing up we used to steal the signs all the time they, they didn't have they weren't serial numbered and stuff but uh, that's been a long yeah. time ago and I do not recommend you do that but oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you might want to look at that because if I find out that the state has placed signage on that on this property here I may come back and come inside and, and videotape no it'd be an interesting it'd be an interesting court case it still wouldn't happen it's an active military base I, I understand at all. I understand it but there's you a you can walk around and film I, all day but whether it's state like I said it's Civilians are able to come in here yeah. all day long. It's, it's 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 not a. I mean, it's not restricted as as far as saying, hey, look, nobody's allowed in. You got to have a certain identification when you're on this bus. No. But you do got to state your reason of being here, and you can't just have no bull crap reason to be here because you want to sight sightsee. If you're gonna go sightsee, that's something that's gonna have to go higher than us, part of the post post commander, post sergeant major people that do want to come have a look around at the museum or at the uh the displays we have over there no big deal but like i said if you go any further than that then well yeah if you start going further than that then it's kind of like okay you now you're starting to cause a little bit of a scene here you know but it's just it's i mean that's, that's any any place man any post is going to be that way well uh, most most posts in order for me to go beyond that gate right there i have to show id well yeah yeah you still have to show an id okay. we have to log you in get all your information yeah, you even to go to the static displays and stuff yeah okay you cannot come on here hands free cause i don't i still don't even know who you are i couldn't allow you to just walk up there and just walk straight through it's just, that's a no go no i understand <laughs> i just want to say i thought that's what you were saying at least as far as the static displays i no, thought no, that's no, kind no. of unusual no yeah you could uh like i said you gotta have the captain that's over the museum you gotta i guess coordinate with him beforehand and actually be able to go over there but I mean, I'm pretty sure that's going to be through the post commander as far as the civilian wanting to go in there and videotape. So, hmm, that's interesting. Okay. I'm pretty sure you're not going to be allowed to videotape. Yeah, just, uh, I, I imagine they'll let me go in. It, you know, I've, I've been to quite a few military bases. Generally, they'll let me go in for like static displays and stuff. Mm -hmm. And if I go any further than, you know, just like right out here where that airplane is or whatever, yeah. if I went any further in than that, they would require me to have an escort or, you yeah, know, yeah, would, you would, would severely to. limit. Mm -hmm. you know what i can and rightly so i mean it's a military base yeah. you got guys in there that that you don't necessarily want to have their information posted and stuff i get it i got it yeah. but uh i'm not going in um i want to stay right here on this street corner and like i said 15 20 minutes i'll be gone but you'll probably get some more phone calls so, about me I, in, I, in this I, day and age i don't mind but you mind me asking what for what for videotaping um so I'm i an, see you're live right now maybe like oh no no this is just a body camera now if i was live this would be okay. up here um because i do live stream uh sometimes when i interact with law enforcement unfortunately i get a lot of law enforcement interaction <laughs> but uh uh not 15 20 minutes i'll be out of here i'm a journalist i'm working on a story that's it story for if you don't mind me asking I, I'm, I'm interested man i uh, yeah. might want to look it up <laughs> oh it's it's you'll hear about it i'll, I'll make sure and email it over to uh uh, the post commander here and I'm sure they'll pass it down to you okay. you know sure. because I don't always get courteous interaction with the MPs or right. whatever I mean a lot of times they'll come out here and they start yelling and screaming and throwing fits about 18795 and blah 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 speaking of US Marshals there's one right there hey I think I recognize that guy I think he's out of Baton Rouge um but uh you know, obviously you understand where the boundaries are and, and that yeah, I can yeah, be like here. Yeah, I, like, I don't mind if you videotape. I, you don't have to tell me. I, that's I, no, that's not, it. I mean, well, if it, the, reason I don't, the reason I don't tell, you know, uh, or give more information is because it compromises the story. You know, if you know who I am and why I'm here exactly, you know, you might alert somebody that I'm working on a story about and, mm. and that would cause them to behave differently or go somewhere else well, that'll be obviously you know. for the Martians. yeah I said that I'm not I'm not I'm not hiding I'm not hiding it you know and and pretty much any marshal that comes by me out here is going to get videotaped and I know quite a few of them that are that are come and go through here I'm surprised surprised he was here but okay all right uh, well 
but you know, that's it. Like I said, 15, 20 minutes, plus or minus, and I'll be gone. Okay. All right. Well. All right how long? How long you been? Uh, you're National Guard, not regular Army. How long have you been in? Uh, going on nine years. Maybe September will be. Damn, dude. Yeah. All National Guard, or were you? You didn't come over from another service. Yeah. Well, so you can be a lifer. Uh, maybe I don't know. Who are you knows? full? Are you full-time guard? Uh, it's not. It's, it's part-time. It's not part-time. It's full-time job, but it's it's not a federal job. It's a state job. What I'm doing right now. Okay. All right. Well, I won't hold you up, brother. I know. I know you're hot out here in that uniform, so. <laughs> I'm done used to it, man. It's actually cool. If I was in a short sleeve, I wouldn't have the sweat sticking to my clothes and keeping them cold, you know? <laughs> All right, you be safe. How you doing? How you doing today? I'm doing all right. What you filming today? Fraternal Order of the Police, Red River Lodge. Hmm. What are you filming today? Anything I can see from right here. Why? Because I want to. No, sir, you can't do that. Really? Yes. What prevents me? Huh? What this prevents is a me? This is a military installation. That's a military installation. Yes, sir. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you're standing on military installation property. We on this side of the road and that side of the road. That's what I've heard. Yes. Um, you see these fines? Yes, sir. Those fines belong to the state of Louisiana. Yes, sir, they do. The government ceded right away here for public utilities. If you look down there, you see the public utilities. Yes, sir. Public signage. Yes, okay. Sir. Which means in the state of Louisiana, if the public utilities are there, the public can be there. No, sir. It means that we give them right away to put it here. But we own this property and we own that property over there. Okay. You don't own the road, no, correct? Sir. What am I standing on? But if you want to go stand in that road, go ahead, and I'm going to arrest you the minute you step out in that road. First, I'm standing on the road right now. This this curb belongs to the roadway, not the government. No, it's not. The government, you're telling me the government put this curb here? Huh? You're telling me the government put the curb here? No, sir. What I'm telling you is that road, go step in that road, and I'm going to arrest you for standing in the roadway. This roadway? Yes, sir. Well, of course. If I stood in the roadway, I would expect and, that you and would. that's what I'm telling you. So, I, I didn't get so, your name. So, why are you standing out here filming this installation? I'm not filming the installation per se. Yes, sir, you are. You're filming the front gate of this installation. I am documenting public officials in the course of their duties. That is what I'm doing. Who I didn't get your official? name. I didn't get your name. My name is Command Sergeant Major Rufus Jones. Sergeant Major, my name's David. And I'm in charge of the Force Protection and all the Anti-Terrorism Department. So, okay. Well, I'm trying to introduce myself. Okay. All right. And we it, introduced each other. Okay. Fine. And That's you fine. are? My name's David. David what? I, I didn't get my last name. Okay. What is I'm your I'm a last journalist. Name? engaged in a constitutionally protected First Amendment activity. Okay. Do you have an ID? I do not. You do not have an ID? Why not? Why would I carry one? Do huh? I mean, do, am I required to carry one? Yes, I'm not driving. Are. It doesn't matter. You're in the state of Louisiana. The state of Louisiana requires ID on everybody. The state of Louisiana requires me to identify myself if I'm lawfully detained. Are you detaining me? Yes, sir, we are. At this okay. time, we are. So, right, you're no, not going to need to get violent. Right. I'm compliant. All right, I'm being in compliance. Constitutionally protected yes, we activity. Are. We are, and we're detaining you. For what crime? What crime do you huh? suspect me of committing? I don't know what you're doing. You won't give me any identification. Oh, you're taking my camera from me? Yes, sir. I'm taking okay. your camera. I'm taking everything you got until we figure okay, out. Okay, you cannot you go into my pocket, sir. Yes, sir. A Terry Frisk does not allow you to go into my pocket. I'm checking to make sure, because I'm fixing to bring you on my installation. I have no I weapons on me. I have I no weapons on, on me. Before I bring you on my installation, I'm going to make sure you have no weapons, guns, knives. I have no weapons on me. No guns, no knives, no nothing. Just cameras, that's okay, it. You have anything illegal on you? you need I do not. Or anything I do of that not. Nature? I do not. No? Okay. You, you still haven't told me what crime you suspect me of committing. Well, we're going to find out what crime you Oh, I see. So you're going to detain me. I'm detaining you to figure you're going out to what's going on. You don't get to do that. You don't get to do that. 
You're standing on my installation. Yes, no, sir. No, sir. I, I am standing you on the street. You were standing on my property. Yes, okay. sir, I did. So, Why don't you let Pine Bill? Why don't you let Pine Bill take him? I don't need to. This is my installation. I can put you in my car if I want. Okay, to. I'll get in. Just let me let me okay. do this. We'll get in. <sighs> What's your name, man? This guy's detaining me against yeah. my will. Because you're on a military installation. I'm they standing on the street. Didn't they leave. didn't tell me to leave. Nobody told me to leave. ID I specifically was told I could be here. Do you have your ID with you? I do not. You do not have an ID? What's your name? My name is Earl David And at this time, I'm going to invoke my right to remain silent until I have an attorney present. What's your date of birth? You're required to give me your information. What's your date of birth? Sir, I've given you my information. I've invoked my right you to remain say it silent. Again, I did not I, catch I've you. invoked my right to remain silent, sir. This time, I do not wish to answer any questions. You might advise that gentleman. Yeah, sir, would you would you advise that gentleman that he has okay. a firearm laying on the front seat here? I'm letting you know I'm right concerned. now. What? You are under arrest. Did they advise you that? No. Okay, you're He's under arrest for resisting, a, for resisting an officer. Okay. I haven't resisted anybody. All right. You want to arrest him? I'm bring That's fine. Bring Go ahead, step out for me. Okay, I can, I can get out. I can get out. Hold on. I'm not resisting anything. Actually, yes, yeah, you are. How am I resisting? What because did I do? I've asked you multiple times. I gave it to you. I gave yes, it to you. Yes, and I didn't catch all your information, and whenever I asked you to give oh. it again, you didn't give it to all me. All right, hold on. Do not take my camera. Do not take my camera, sir. Sir, you do not have the right to take my camera. Do you not understand I'm engaged in a constitutionally protected activity? What you're doing right now is unlawful. I don't have any weapons on me. He's, he's already patting me down. Here, I'll switch this in your pocket right here, okay? No, I don't have cigarettes. I don't smoke. No pocket knives. No, no. I'm about to cuss with you. Evidence, so I'll review him and see what he's filming. 